and welcome back to my channel if you don't already know my name is amber i'm a makeup artist and i just brought my talents to youtube because i want everybody to get the hang of this makeup thing because why not so i did a really simple easy tutorial for you guys it's just my everyday basic makeup look makeup routine i know you guys have been waiting for this for a long time so let's just get into it okay guys so the first thing we're gonna do is take a spoolie and just brush my eyebrow hairs in place just to make sure no hair is out of place make sure they're nice and groomed and i'm gonna go in with my sasha buttercup setting powder just to get any oil that may still be in my brows just to get all of that out now i'm going to take this pencil i got it from the beauty supply store it's just a regular black brow pencil and I'm just going to kind of frame the natural shape of my eyebrows and just create a more pronounced one. So I'm just kind of going along with that shape to create my tail. And this part, guys, you can kind of just sketch out because we're going to conceal it anyway. Now I'm going in with my favorite concealer of all time. It's the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. And I'm just gonna curve out the bottom of my brow just to shape it a little more. Usually I would take like a lighter concealer and go over the end of my brow, but this is my everyday makeup look and I don't do that every day. So this is what I do on most days um, when I'm not being extra or dramatic. <laughs> Now I'm going in with my Real Technique setting brush and I'm just dragging down that concealer onto my lid. This is a great way to prep your eyelids for any eyeshadow application, liner, or anything like that. So I saw this really cool hack on TikTok and it was like, take some scotch tape and put it over your baby hairs. And y'all, ever since I found this trick, I am like obsessed. I like this so much because I can carve out the top of my brows without getting any product into my hair. Anywhere you place makeup, concealer, anything, you just want to always make sure that you blend, 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 blend it out. Blend everything out so you don't know where something starts and where it ends. The brows are done. She's cute, period. So I'm going to take some more of that Sasha Buttercup. I'm just going to pat that on my lid just to make sure that I don't get any creasing. And I'm just going to take that powder and put it on top of my brows and just set everywhere that I concealed just to make sure nothing moves out of place. Next, I'm going in with my mauve eyeliner. It's a black liquid liner and I love this because it just glides on so seamlessly. Yes, look at that point, y'all. Now, this eyeliner doesn't dry down matte, so you're going to see me go in with a black eyeshadow just to go over that and make sure that it's the matte that I like. I don't like when liquid liners dry down and they're like shiny or like metallic y looking. I like all my products to be matte, except my highlighters. And guys, if you're not good at this part, like doing liquid liner, like don't start with a liquid liner, start with a gel liner. Because liquid liner is like, on a level of like one to 10, it's like a 10. It's not beginner friendly at all. So if you're just starting out, please start out with like a pencil or a gel liner or even a shadow until you work your way up to liquid. Now I'm going in with my Viper Lashes. Lashes are available on my website. Um, these are currently being restocked, but these are like one of my favorite pair of lashes. And I just take like my regular uh, bonding hair glue. And that's just my personal preference. That's what I like to use. I know how to work with it. It dries really quick. That's just what I use personally. Um, but you're welcome to use whatever you like. Now you're going to want to take the darkest black shadow that you have and just go over your um, lashes. So this is a trick that I love because it always makes sure that none of the powder or products that I use prior to this is still in my lashes and it gives you that nice black effect. So I'm trying out this uh, foundation that I got from a company called Yensa. Um, it's a really good dewy type foundation. It matches my complexion perfectly and I've been obsessed with it lately. Like I said, this is my everyday routine and usually I'll go in with my NARS foundation in the color Macau and mix it with something else. 
but you know this one is a little more lightweight and allows my skin to breathe a lot smoother so i like it 10 out of 10. as you're blending that foundation in, make sure you get behind your ears your neck and here's another tip y'all if you have to blend your foundation down into your neck too much then it's not your color when color matching go with the color of your neck not your face So the first concealer I'm going in with is the LA Girl Concealer in Medium Beige. I usually do like two to three layers of concealer, but this is the first one that I always go in with. I just like the brightness that it gives like my under eye. Next, we're going in with my favorite concealer of all time, the LA Girl Concealer in Yellow Corrector, y'all. Yellow Corrector, yes. I have a bunch of yellow undertones, so this concealer just honestly goes perfect with my color matching, like my concealer, my highlight. It's just the best. Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. concealer, and I use that as a contour, y'all. Like, if y'all don't have, like, a contour shade, you gotta get inventive. As a makeup artist or just someone wanting to learn how to do their own makeup, you have to find ways around what you lack. So for an example, if I don't have like my right color foundation, I'm gonna make that color, whether it's with concealers, other foundations, white mixed with brown or light beige, like you gotta get creative. Now this concealer is so smooth like butter. So I'm going in with my Real Techniques blending brush again, and I'm just blending down that concealer into the contour to create a seamless blend so you don't really know where the contour starts and where it ends. And it just melts like butter. Like once you just blend all of that in, it just goes on so smooth, so beautiful. Like this is my favorite way of doing my under eye and my contour. Now you're gonna see me take the same brush and just go over all of these areas and just make sure everything is blended into my skin. I didn't leave any patches. When you're working with cream products, whether it be concealer or contour, you wanna kinda keep it in the same range and frame so you're not dragging those colors all around your entire face. Because if you do that, then it kinda thins it out and it doesn't look seamless at all. And you don't wanna bring all of those different colors into your foundation or spots where you don't need it. Then I'm just going under that contour just to make it a little bit sharper. Everyone doesn't like that chiseled contour look, but I do. And once I add like my powders and everything and blend everything together, you can tell, but then you kinda can't. Then you're just gonna wanna blend up that concealer down the bridge of your nose. So when I'm blending out this really bright part of my concealer, I do everything first because I kind of want to let this sit for a while so it can get tacky because one thing about these concealers, you have to wait until they dry down a little bit before blending. You don't want to apply it and then just start blending right away because it'll leave like streaks and patches and it's just not cute. So let these dry down for about like a good three to five minutes for best results. So now I just went in with a more precise blending brush just to blend out those little small corners that I don't really want to use the bigger brush on because I don't want that concealer to spread to other places where I don't need it. So you'll just see me going back and forth between the two. I'm rotating, I'm using the bigger brush, then I'm using a smaller brush. It's just like a little rotation.
So now I'm taking my damp beauty blender and I'm just blending out any creases. Um, when you use this concealer, like it creases a lot if you just let it sit. So you always just wanna go in and make sure that all the creases are gone. So just blend that out and blend it up just to make sure because you don't wanna go in with a setting powder and put powder on top of creases because that creates a disaster. When using your beauty blender, you also just wanna go over any areas like your nose, between your eyes, anywhere that you think needs a little more blending because you can never blend too much. Never forget that. So next, I'm going in with my Laura Mercier setting powder in the color Translucent Honey. And I'm not baking here. What I'm doing first is just setting all of my hard work. So basically, I'm just pushing that powder into everywhere I concealed under my eye, pushing that all in and just making sure that it's all where I need it to be so it doesn't continue to crease. So the point is to kind of make like this V shape in terms of highlighting that area. Everyone always asks about my blush. This is like my favorite blush ever. It's from ColourPop Cosmetics and it's called Prairie Air. And this is the only blush I use alongside one other blush because I just can't get over blush, honestly. It's like the best thing. I'm gonna take some more of that Sasha Buttercup and I'm gonna place that under my contour. And what that does is just define your contour a little bit more because sometimes when you're blending out that brown or your bronzer, it can kind of move further down your face than you would like. So I love doing this method just to make sure it's exactly where I want it. I also take that same powder and I'm just setting everywhere else on my face that I didn't use powder on because we don't want sticky faces. So this is a good tip right here too. Now I'm going in with my palette by ColourPop and it has this really pretty light pink that I use in my inner corners. And it just eats, y'all. Like, that light pink with the blush and then that bright under eye, it just pulls everything together. Like, this is my favorite combo. You might also find that when you use a lot of products, your eyes are trying to compensate for the dry areas. So your eyes will water a little bit more. Now, to create that depth in my eye makeup, I'm just going to take this Sigma Gel Liner and put that all on my waterline. Be really careful when you're doing this part too because we don't want to speed up the aging process. So just treat your under eyelids as if it was like a newborn child. <laughs> So I just received this mascara from Too Faced. It's the Better Than Sex Mascara, y'all. And this is honestly like one of the best mascaras I've ever come across. Like, it's just like that. Like, 
just look. Now you're just going to want to blend out where you set under your contour and just make sure that it's completely blended out. We don't want any lines on that part of our face, like none. So blend, blend, blend. Time for bronzer and my all time favorite bronzer is from the Juvia's Place Zulu palette. Like I hit pan on this. I have yet to come across a bronzer this warm that matches my tone and complexion perfectly. So yeah, I'll be buying this again. She needs to make this like by itself because I mean, I use some of the colors in the palette, but not really. Now I'm going in with my second blush and I like to do two blushes because one just gives it like a little subtle pop and one kind of defines your cheek area a little more. So I just like combining the two. That's just what I do. So here we're gonna go over a trick I learned from um, makeup artist Wayne Goss. So he said, take a pressed powder and just buff all over your face with that powder. It just blends everything in so beautifully. And ever since I learned that trick, I've never stopped doing it. Like it's my favorite way to end my makeup look. So this is just another thing that I like to do. I like to add like three little moles to my face. I got a little mascara on my face, so I'm just taking my spoolie brush to clean it off. This is the Glow Palette by Nikki Tutorials. And y'all, this is my favorite highlight of all time. Like it's just so pretty and shimmery and I've been using this every single day. Like that's why I've hit pan already. <laughs> Now I'm just using this brown liner from ColourPop Cosmetics just to outline my lips and get my lips ready for the application. So when I do this part, I usually just create my shape and then I go and blend out the edges and then I add my lip products. So now I'm just going in with the City Colors white canvas base and I like to put that in the middle of my lips because it creates like a really cute pinky color. Um, so I just take my brush and blend that out and it just gives a pretty ombre lip. I'm obsessed with it. This is the only gloss that I use and you can find this at your beauty supply store like it's nothing fancy. Finally, I'm going in with the Too Faced Makeup Insurance 18 Hour Wear Setting Spray. And this stuff, y'all, smells so good. And it's like as soon as I spray my face with that first layer, everything that I did is just locked in and doesn't move. I love this setting spray. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you know every time that I post, and subscribe, sis. Love you guys. Bye.